Welcome back to KTN Prime. Now, the Jubilee Party of Kenya is finally set to be launched at the end of next month after its postponement more than three times. The party which President Uru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto intend to use in the 2017 elections faced a myriad of challenges, including resistance from some Jubilee supporters. On this week's edition of Spotlight 2017, KTN's Chris Dairo looks at the challenges that the party has faced and what awaits the party ahead of the 2017 general election. The yet-to-be-launched Jubilee Party vehicle, which President Uru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto intend to use when seeking their second term in office, was first expected to be unveiled in February this year. Five months down the line, the party is yet to be launched. Analysts point out that the launch has been delayed at least three times, owing to the resistance from some officials, affiliate parties. <laughs> The rebellion initially thought to have sprung from the URP-dominated Rift Valley is gradually taking root in the Mount Kenya region. Elected leaders and party officials in the Mount Kenya region appear reluctant to popularize the new party. This is raising jitters among some jubilee leaders. I can assure you, none of us, not even myself, not even TN as a party, should put a claim to specific seats. We will have well, the people who will be entrusted with that, that responsibility. Critics, however, say this is bound to fail. That unlike 2013, when the deputy president was able to marshal a block vote behind the president, uh, it created some doubts on the ground as to whether he shall be able to do the same uh, going forward. <laughs> The vote-rich region of Rift Valley that has an estimated 3.5 million registered voters seems to be leading in the rebellion. Already Kano, which is an affiliate of Jubilee Coalition, has declared it will field candidates in all elective positions come 2017, a move that has created a rift between Baringo Senator Gideon Moy and Deputy President William Ruto. In South Rift, Ruto is facing rebellion from Bomet Governor Isaac Ruto, who launched his Mashinani party last week. Sisi tunataka kunganisha hiyo chama yote ikuwe chama moja ya Jubilee. Ndiyo Kenya iungane iwe kitu kimoja. Ninyi muna kubaliana na sisi ama munga na plan ingine? Luta na niyamia ati usipoikia Jubilee, uwezi pata kitu. Sasa mina kwa. Sasa ni nani wana ananichagua? Ni wana wa Nairobi ama ni njini? For now, they have to go the full hog of the merger with all the repercussions that are going to come with it. Most likely, what Jubilee will do will try to create discord in court so that their own hemorrhage that for sure is going to come after the merger doesn't look as big as the one in the other side. There is fear that the nomination process will not be free and fair. Those holding the view argue that seasoned politicians will be favored. So many of the officials in the respective parties that are joining in will get kind of consumed or will lose the significant positions which they hold in their respective parties. Nations will not only be fair and transparent, but they will be just and they will have an elaborate mechanism of dispute resolution. And that elaborate dispute resolution must give people enough timelines within which they can lodge their complaints. Just the other day, the party was faced with another challenge when a group of Kenyans who had registered Jubilee People Party wrote to the Register of Political Parties seeking to block the registration of the new party on grounds that the name belonged to them. The group was however dismissed by the Register of Political Parties, 
who said theirs was not a political party but a society. Days are gone when Fort Kenya should be a Luya party, TNA should be a Kikuyu party, URP should be a Kalenjin party. Those voices have been heard clear. Despite the growing open rebellion against unveiling Jubilee Party, the principal seems determined to go ahead and launch it next month. But there's still another hurdle that might determine the future of the party, and which is how the party conducts its nomination process. Will it be free and fair, especially where the party enjoys grassroots support? Chris Dairo, KTN News.